Wouldn't it be great to wake up every morning and for once love what you do? Actually be excited about a Monday again. Do you ever wish you could get paid to travel the world, live in other countries, not just for a few weeks, but for a few years, to really immerse yourself in the culture, get to know the people, and also represent your country while doing it? This is what 250 United States Foreign Service officers do each and every day in over 70 beautiful, exciting, and inspiring countries around the world. Come on, let's go on an adventure. Hi, my name is Tammy Marietta. I am the Senior Commercial Officer in Maputo, Mozambique a country in the southeastern coast of Africa. What do I love about Mozambique? What is there not to love? It's an incredible country, amazing people. The food is delightful. Being able to walk on the ocean at any time you want, uh, the spectacular views. To go to Mercado du Peche and uh, you're able to get seafood. You're able to get lobsters at very affordable prices. It's so interesting with the Portuguese and African mix. Uh, it's lovely to be able to just walk around and go find a shop that sells African fabric. It's called Capilana. It is a privilege to represent the United States overseas. It's especially beautiful to know that I'm representing uh, my people, people of color and women, and to show the diversity uh, to foreign governments and people in different, of different nations. I love walking into meetings with foreign officials representing the U.S. mission. And I'll be honest, there have been times when I've had meetings and people are still looking out for somebody else because they're waiting for someone who maybe doesn't look like me to enter the room. Uh, but that's okay because we have a diverse nation and I have an incredible opportunity uh, to showcase that. I hope I do it well and I know there are many, many people out there that will also represent us and put our best foot forward. Hello, my name is Natalie Hattour and I'm a commercial officer assigned to the West Los Angeles U.S. Commercial Service Office. So the first glimpse I had of the Foreign Service was in my freshman year of high school. The father of one of my friends was a consul general posted to LA and by spending time with her family, I learned about the role of a diplomat and how they help build bridges between countries through commerce, culture, and policy. I instantly knew that this was a career path that I wanted to pursue and I worked towards that goal. So I'm a new officer assigned to my first domestic tour in my hometown of Los Angeles. And while it's only been 10 months, it's been such an amazing experience. The LA team that I work with is phenomenal. I'm in an office of just women. We call ourselves the Women of West LA, and I'm constantly inspired by their wealth of experience, the work that they do, and the leadership that they take. I also get to work within a network of exceptional individuals. And while I haven't met any of my colleagues in person yet, I felt included and supported from day one. Even looking at our global team, we have an amazing opportunity to regularly interact with colleagues overseas. For instance, just this week, I've worked with our teams in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Chile, Peru, Turkey, and Romania, and it's only Tuesday. And so those nuances that you have to consider when you're working across different cultures is part of what makes this job incredibly fascinating and you're constantly learning. Part of what makes this job so exciting is that we get to travel every two to three years. But more importantly, it's about the impact that we have. You know, we're advocating for US companies overseas and by doing so, we're helping them grow and succeed. We're also helping to create US jobs and promote economic prosperity. That's what makes our job so special. That's what motivates me. And that's why I hope people sign up for this career. You know, it's important to pursue your goals and your passions despite the challenges that come along the way. I certainly dealt with many, but I can say now that my dream of becoming a foreign service officer came true and I still pinch myself every now and then. So don't give up on your dreams despite the challenges along the way and push forward. My name is Mark Lewis and I am the commercial counselor at the U.S. Embassy 
in Jakarta. Jakarta is a fascinating city. Beautiful people, warm and welcoming. We have a very interesting and uh, very rich culture. Indonesia, as you may know, is the fourth largest uh, country in the world in terms of population. It's an archipelago of 17,000 islands, and it stretches as broad as the United States from east to west. The culture is very varied, there are many languages, and the food is uh, quite interesting. If you like spicy food, then uh, food in Indonesia and in Jakarta particularly uh, will really uh, suit your fancy. Joining the Foreign Service is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life, other than marrying my wife. This has been the most life-changing decision that I've made. We've gone to different uh, places, met interesting people every three to five years. It's like getting a new job, uh, moving to a new town, working with new people and uh, with new challenges, but a new adventure. Uh, and I've loved it. It's worked for the family. It's worked for my, uh, my wife and my kids. And I think I wouldn't change a thing. Hi, my name is Heather McLeod, and I'm a commercial officer who had my first domestic tour in Atlanta, Georgia, and now I'm serving as a commercial officer at the U.S. Embassy in Doha, Qatar. I went to graduate school to study international affairs at Georgetown School of Foreign Service. One day, we had a panel discussion about uh, foreign service careers, and the person who was on that panel was commercial officer Janae Pierre-Louis. She was so engaging and so dynamic. What I saw was not only that she cared about her subject matter um, and what she was doing and that it really excited her, but also that she was a Black woman doing this job. And that networking event led to an internship with the commercial service in Johannesburg, South Africa. And then years down the line, about eight or nine years later, by Atlanta, it landed me uh, a position as a commercial officer with the commercial service serving now in Doha. The best part about uh, getting assigned is telling your friends and family about where you're going to be going. And so I decided to host a uh, country reveal party for all my friends and family. When they found out where I was going, it completely caught them off guard. They were ex so excited. There were screams, there were, um, you know, jumps of joy. Um, everyone was just so happy for me. Another part about being a foreign service officer is that you can bring your family with you. In my case, my mom is going to be joining me uh, very, very soon. And so for me, it's just a way to give back to her. And I really do believe that this part of my journey is about you reap what you sow. Being an ambassador is something that has been placed on my heart since I was a little girl. I feel as if I'm home, I'm in my niche right now, and that this position is really going to help me reach that ultimate goal of becoming Ambassador McLeod. Hello, my name is Quinton Chang. I'm a commercial officer currently based at the U.S. Embassy in Beijing. Beijing is an amazing assignment. I was surprised to come here and find this big house that we get to live in, and then even more impressed that there's so many restaurants to choose from. It's not just Chinese food, you get this metropolitan feel. You can choose Italian, Japanese, steakhouses, seafood places from all parts of the world are here in Beijing. So I'm really grateful to have the community liaison officer, also known as the CLO, organizing festivals and field trips and gatherings with the community, the embassy community, so that we can develop new relationships. So even though we're far away from our family and friends, we're able to develop these new relationships that we can take along with us around the world. As a second generation Chinese American, I never thought one day I'd be representing the United States as a diplomat. My dad came to America with just a high school education from Vietnam. Same thing with my mom, just a fourth grade education from Vietnam. I was the first person in my family to get a college education and, and then a master's degree. And then to think that I can take all this accomplishments and then test and make it into the commercial service and serve the U.S. government as a diplomat is amazing. The United States has so many opportunities. 
And if you apply yourself, you can make it. In these past 12 years of my career, I've learned so much that I'm trying to pass on to the next generation. We're looking for the best officers. We're looking for people like you. And I really hope you'll consider joining the commercial service so that officers like me can meet you and help you become the best you can be so that we can serve and help the United States together. Do you have what it takes to be a United States Foreign Service Officer? The openness of mind, a sense of adventure, independence, and the feeling of pride that comes with the opportunity to represent the United States of America wherever you may go in the world. If this adventure sounds like you, we want you to apply today.